everyone welcome to my channel today we are diving into the world of ethical hacking with a focus on setting up a secure environment using a vpn i'll guide you through setting up vpn book on kali linux running on raspberry pi 5. before we begin let's understand why using a vpn is crucial for penetration testing and ethical hacking you can see in here uh, all the way top corner normally you log in uh, connect to your Wi-Fi network and after that you can connect to a VPN connection. So what is a VPN? Actually a VPN is called virtual private network serves you a clock in the digital world. It hides your IP address, encrypts your internet traffic and provides an additional security layer. This is especially important in ethical hacking to maintain anonymity and safely test system without exposing your real IP address. Okay, open the command prompt and type first we need to update sudo apt get update. Okay, next sudo apt get get up grid can say type yes okay we are done with the upgrade now next is we're going to type sudo apt get install open vpn we are done with the command today we are using vpn book free and reliable VPN service. First, make sure your Raspberry Pi is set up with Kali Linux. Now I'm going to download the bundle. So first you need to go to www.vpnbook.com and you will find their official website. And after that, go to the free VPN. And that tab, when you open, you will see a bunch of profiles. So I'm based on US, I'm going to download US open one. So I already download the two. And after that, you need to uh, write it down this username and password. We need that for the next step. If you want, you can donate some any amount you like to this VPN book because you are getting a free VPN. Next thing I'm going to extract, extract here. You'll see all the files in here. I'm going to use the TCP uh, 443 VPN. So next is you click the right uh, upper corner VPN connection and the VPN connection. From here, I'm going to choose import saved uh, VPN configuration and click create. From here, go to the file you download the folder and I'm going to use VPN book ES2 TCP 443 VPN configuration file and click open see everything looks perfect what you need is username password which I told you before to write it down um, so I'm going to use VPN book paste here password click save go to the VPN connection you can see it's there and I'm going to click this now you can see it's circling so VPN connection has been successfully established okay uh, I'm going to close this I'm going to do a remote SSH connection uh, from my Windows 11 box I'm going to bring up my uh, PowerShell box you can see Microsoft Windows I'm going to SSH to the Kali Linux box. I'm going to use SSH uh, Kali. I'm going to type my IP address and password. Now I'm able to successfully SSH to my uh, Kali box. Now behind is my actual Kali. Uh, RDP session so you can see the background and I'm in the black screen is my SSH remote SSH connection which is Windows 11 
Now we need to connect to the VPN uh, via remote SSH. First of all, we need to find out which connection we have. So normally we use nmcli connection show command to see how many profiles, how many connection there to connect to uh, VPN. So now you can see IT Samurai teacher name is my Wi-Fi. All of the type is Wi-Fi, and we have a loopback type and another Wi-Fi, tiny constraint care Wi-Fi, and again VPN type is VPN called VP book US2 TCP443. That's the profile we created recently. So that's the profile we need to connect. Now think that if you have two or three connections, uh, we can use all these names connect to each uh, whenever we, we want. Because I'm in the next video, I'm going to create more two more VPN connection because if you can hacking, you need to have uh, two or three VPN connection. Now, what you need to do here is we we know what's the profile we're going to connect, and we're going to type nmcli, and I'm going to say connection. I'm going to say up VPN. This is the connection we need to connect. Now, once you hit enter, you will see in the background uh, it's connected. See VPN login message is successfully established. When you are in a remote session like SSH, you don't see those uh, messages because it's uh, doing on the uh, Kali box. So now you already connected. Now, if you want to see the IP address, we type curl IP info dot IO IP. Now you will see the IP address of the VPN connection. Now, if you have two or more three VPN connection, you can connect and you can switch over to a different different VPN. Now, if you want to disconnect the VPN, uh, we type connection uh, oh, nmcli cli connection. We say down VPN. When you down is successfully deactivated and uh, VPN disconnect. Now again, I want to connect to that VPN. In the background, you will get a message here, logging successful. So remember, VPN is not just a tool for anonymity, but necessary precaution in ethical hacking. It protects you and your test environment while ensuring compliance with legal and ethics standard. Thanks for watching and don't forget like and subscribe and share this video with your fellow cybersecurity enthusiasts. Stay safe and happy hacking.